Hello, hello. Hopefully, hopefully audio levels are all good between songs. Am I louder than the music? That's the real question. The real question. Hello. Hello, everybody. I forgot to close my living room door. I'm going to do that right now. Give me a second. I don't even know why it bothers me. I don't know why I wanted it closed. It just did. It just did. But yeah, this is my first stream in a, quite a while. Quite a while. It's been... 
According to my activity feed, it's been 23 days since I listed a stream. Feels like a lot longer. Or maybe not. I don't know. It's been a while, that's for sure. What did I do with my blessed time off? That's also a good question. Not entirely sure on that count either. I like to say I spent time away from screens, but I didn't. I just spent time away from the internet. I finally sorted through all my photographs for the last three years. That's been kind of sitting in the back of my mind for a good long while. Too long, one might say. And I'm not going to lie, I spent a, a lot of time just watching Star Trek Deep Space Nine. And it's so good. It's so good. So, so good. Oh, and also thank you, Eden and Pops. Pops, thank you for the offline follow. That's super sweet of you. I know you're probably not here right now, but thank you anyway. I'm tired, and you can see my fridge. I thought I adjusted the stupid webcam. I hate this thing. Every single time I go live, I have to readjust it. And I'm really not good at it. See, every time I think I'm moving in the right way, it goes the opposite direction. Uh, camera, what is, what is your problem? What is thy problem? I guess that'll do. And of course my fringe is annoying me as usual, that hasn't changed. So yeah, just doing a chill thing today, just a chill thing. I just want to play the chillest games imaginable. I don't actually know what the first tree is, but it's in my Steam library and it was described as casual and relaxing. A walking simulator. And I could go for a walk virtually right now. A virtual walk might be nice. As for what else I did with my time off, I have absolutely no recollection. Mostly sleep. I did actually manage to go on a couple of actual walks that involved leaving my flat. Did take some photographs, which was nice. But as I said on Twitter when I came back, loud music. The first thing I learned, like, for four days in, is I'm still always tired. Just always But I did make the outstanding decision that my stories will take as long as they take to write and this is some really loud music but I'm sure it's headbanging too. I'm gonna turn it down a tad. Well that's a bit more than a tad, how's that? I think that's better. Very pink. It's electronic superjoy. No, it's not pink at all. I quite like not being pink. My eye itches. Yes, 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 yes. Probably won't be chatting for very long. I like how if I move the right way, you can just see that sunflower poking out behind my armchair. Very nice, very colourful. I love sunflowers. Sunflowers are my favourite. My favourite colour? I'm losing it. I'm absolutely losing it. Flower. My favourite flower. Actually, no, they're not even that. The giant daisies are my favourite flower. I don't know what I'm talking about. That's gonna. That's, uh, that's real frequent. And, of course, obligatory stirping of hot British drink. Although I'm not sure cocoa is inherently British. But then neither is tea. Tea originally came from China, so... You know. What even is the British drink? I'm tempted to Google that. What is the British drink? It's gonna say it's tea, but it's a lie. Is the British drink. It's gonna say tea, but it is a lie. Oh, it's come up with iron brew. That's more Scottish. Iron brew is a Scottish drink, it's not a British drink. Traditional drinks in Britain. Tea. Coffee, no. Wine, no. Bitter. Ah, it's not. Of course, bitter, that's a thing. That used to be a thing. I can't believe I'm looking up British drinks. This is what. I've only just started. And this is what my stream has come to. I am looking up British drinks that may or may in fact not be British at all. Britain, Britain is a tea drinking nation. Every day we drink 165 million cups of the stuff and each year around 144,000 tons of tea are imported. See, it's imported. That means it's not British. Although that is actually an interesting fact. 
Interesting fact. Years ago, the milk was poured into the cup first so as not to crack the porcelain. That makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, that's a weird one. If someone says, let me be mother or shall I be mother, they are offering to pour out the tea from the teapot. I have never heard that phrase before in my life. Not in that context. That's, that's, that's some kind of level of weird that I don't even want to talk about. But none of these tea, these drinks actually seem that British, except maybe bitter. Well, I know what a pub is. Although I don't find them relaxing, I have to point that out. I really need to work on my lighting for my webcam. It is super dark and you can just see the reflection of my glasses. Oh, that was another thing that happened. I have been wearing glasses now for almost nine years. Nine years, right. Nine years of glasses, new pair every couple of years, something like that, every two or three years. And in the last three months, I have broken two pairs. The first one wasn't that disappointed about. I didn't like them anyway. The frames got on my nerves and kept on giving me pimples on the bridge of my nose. Terrible place to get pimples. But the second pair I really liked. And like an idiot, I decided to put them on my bed behind me. And then I sat on them like a big lard ass. That didn't actually break them. It just bent them. So trying to unbend them, I snapped the arm off one, off one side. So I'm now back to using my backup pair again, and I'm a little bit embarrassed to go back to the opticians and say, hey, can you repair these glasses for me? Because it's only been like two months since I broke my last pair. Damn. <sighs> I feel like I had other things to talk about, but it's been like when someone says, do you have any questions? And my immediate response is for my mind to go completely and utterly blank. No, no questions. Not anymore. Anyway, they, they were there. They're just gone. My hair is really annoying me. I'm sorry. And nothing special with myself today. No fancy hair, no makeup. Haven't even done my nails. My yellow is chipping. I'm just, just trying to relax, not do anything too stressful to stream and be me and burp at inopportune times. And I listen to some dope tunes and chat about things that don't really matter because who cares that I broke my glasses? Hell, even I don't care if I should because I can't keep wearing these. They're an old prescription and they're not suited to my eyes anymore. So, yeah, I should probably fix it at some point. I definitely need to get these fixed. I shouldn't just be going around wearing old glasses. That's, that's dumb. That's dumb. It's going to make my eyesight even worse. My eyesight is pretty terrible. This shouldn't be in this playlist anymore, so I'm going to skip that one. I am actually tired of listening to Electronic Superjoy. So, I'm going to glow pink again. That's actually quite nice, but screw that. And I'm going to get the game up. The game being the first tree, which is super nice. And this will be a goodbye to my face because I'm not using my face cam on in-game. Because it slows down OBS too much. So I'll see you in a bit. Well, actually, no. Nobody will see anybody except the game. We will see the game. And I'm just talking shit now. Expert shit talker. That's me. Hey, Pops. How's it going? How's it going? Thank you for the follow earlier, by the way. Thank you very much. Great. And of course, I have to do this manually because it hates me. Te all technology hates me. That's just that's just how it is. It's just how it is. Hey, now that is one good-looking game. That is one good-looking game. Absolute pleasure. Thank you, pal. Thank you so much. I will do options and things. I'm going to turn the graphics quality to medium because my laptop stinks uh yeah i'll leave that as that anti-analysting i don't know commentary mode does that mean my commentary or other people's huh subtitles yes camera sensitivity don't know what that means some of this stuff is only by context but i'll just go with it let's play this i have no idea what this is or what i'm doing this is a wonderful game it's so chill oh good i actually have no idea where i found it or when i bought it but it was in my library described as chill and I thought perfect I need chill chill is good 
Oh, it's got nice music too, and I love the art style. So pretty. Such a pretty game. Oh my gosh, it, I, I, this is so silly, but it, it's just so nice just to be back sitting at my desk with OBS up and just playing a game. It's only been like a couple of weeks, but it, it's just such a nice feeling to be back here. I am Are a you fox. awake? I thought I heard you get up. Yeah, I'm awake. Sorry, I just can't sleep. Are you thinking about about him? Yeah, a bit. You should get back pretty. to sleep, my love. I'm fine. No, no, it's okay. What else is on your mind? <sighs> I don't know. It seems weird, but I had one of the most vivid dreams of my life. I saw a fox on a snowy mountain, just looking confused and worried. Those eyes... I can't get those eyes out of my head. She was running in the windy snow, looking for something. Do you think it has to do with... with you and what's been going on? I don't know. It was just a dream, Rachel. They're not meant to make sense. A lot's happened the past couple days, that's all. Well, if you're not going to sleep anyway, you should tell me. I want to hear. All right. This is a pretty story, Dave. I'm liking it so far. I've no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing, but I don't think it matters. Hello, Foxy. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> I suppose commentary only happens when I'm actually making progress, which is oh, toggle run. I did not read that because I'm a Dumbo, but that's okay. We're all Dumbos here. Oh, it's still pretty laggy on capture. I may turn down the, the graphics even further because... <sighs> well, the good news is, is that my time off did yield some rewards and I may actually be able to afford a new PC sometime relatively soon, probably new year. And I'm gonna get a proper good gaming PC I've been on nothing but laptops pretty much since I started getting my own PCs. Like, you know, when I got to a certain age and my parents were like, hey, you can have your own PC. It's always been a laptop. But that was always because where I live, we used to get loads and loads of power cuts. But since I've been in my flat, last two and a half years, I've only had like two power cuts. And that's really, really good odds. So I'm thinking I will actually get a big, proper PC that can handle everything that I need it to instead of just going for laptops all the time. And it, it really does annoy me that I can't even play, like, chill little, like, low-quality games without lag because my laptop... As much as it's been a friend to me, she couldn't stay. It's kind of shit. She had to find her other two children, so she took that path. She followed it towards something ancient, something with answers. Okay, I feel like we just missed a big chunk of story. Is the fox a girl? Big chunk of story. I feel like we just missed. Now that's damn magical. The first tree. Sounds like there's a storm coming. Oh, it's raining. It was raining here earlier. I had my window open. I love the sound of rain on my roof. I'm on the top floor of my buildings. It's the nicest Fox feeling. High and low, searching for any sign of her cubs. Points of light showed the way to this ancient tree. It was as if each one had a story to tell, all their own. The land was trying to tell my story, too. I felt like I was right behind her the whole time. 
Oh, well, that's because it's a third-person camera. Oh, no, I can't believe I just did that. My dad does that all the time. He just points out stuff like that, and it's just, it annoys the heck out of me, and I can't believe I just did that. It's kind of an immersion break, and I shouldn't have done that. I'm a bad person. <laughs> I'm a bad person. And I'm a hypocrite, too. Sorry, Dad. Tell him off for doing it, and I'll go ahead and do it myself. raining, that means that the snow will be melting. At least that's what I've been left to believe. Like, science. Oh my gosh, the music is so good as well. What on earth is that? It's a stag. It's a cane topped with a figurine of a stag. That's really neat. Like how I stop and question what the thing on the ground is and not this mystical beam of light coming out of the earth. Do you remember what my dad did for the living? Wasn't he like a lumberjack? Carpenter. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. If wood was a canvas, then a carving knife was his paintbrush. Even what? after working a 50-hour week, even after his hands were more splinters than skin, he would bring home the nicest piece of Alaskan weeping cedar and make me toys. That wooden train was the first toy I can remember, and I loved it. I just knew from a young age I was going to be a lumberjack, like my father. This actually speaks to both my stories, amazingly enough, uh, in my ghost story, which I'm hoping to get published next year. One of the characters is a, is a little boy, and his favorite toy was a toy train. And in my novel that I'm writing, um, the son of one of my main characters makes toys like that. Not trains yet, but I'm sure he's done that. Yeah, that is something that I will do quite a lot here now. Now that I've gotten more confident, I think, maybe, maybe not, we'll see. I will be talking about my stories. I just... They are the most important thing to me. I enjoy the hell out of streaming, but writing has always been... what I do. So, so, Pops, have you played this game before? Ooh, sparkles. I'm really bad at collecting <laughs> sparkles. Seems easy, actually. How hard it can it be? Collect sparkles. <gasps> End of the chapter. I'm gonna slurp my cocoa. Uh bit of an hourglass situation going on here. And something I definitely haven't missed is how frequently everything crashes. Uh, I have indeed. It's pretty short but very nice and at times spoilers emotional. I was going to ask if it was emotional and I don't think it's something I've actually done on stream yet but I am actually very easy to make cry. The only person I know who's more emotional than me is my dad. It actually it shocks me sometimes how emotional he is when everybody makes fun of me for it. Oh, we're going through the seasons. That was winter, this is spring. Interestingly enough, probably not actually, I did write a story that was, well, I say, wrote. I started to write a story based around seasons. Not when I finished, unfortunately. That happened a lot. Not so much anymore, I like to think. My teenage years were full of sketching, angst, and trouble. Sounds like a lot of teenagers. I wasn't popular no, or unpopular. Generalization. It's silly. Maybe Don't just you. forgettable. <laughs> I guess that gave me a sense of freedom. So I hung out with crazy kids, doing crazy things, even though I mostly just watched the chaos ensue. We did it all, 
put fireworks in mailboxes. That's nuts. Hide roadkill in people's garages. That's gross. Break windows of the barber shop in Anchorage. What did he ever do to My you? My dad was furious, but he was so busy working, he couldn't do much to stop me from going out. I think being an adult means there's no one to stop you making hard decisions. He had to make a living, and he couldn't be in two places at once. Yeah, I realize that now. But at the time, I was sure he was more interested in growing his business than what was going on with me. Oh. Okay, I'm going to probably already said something to this effect but I'm going to lay it out a little bit straighter because I can never remember what I've said it's another thing I should remember <laughs> is that literally everything I come across I will find some way somehow of relating it to a story that's a security camera that's an interesting thing to just have here I thought the stag top cane was weird there's also just a police car down there I love that sunlight. Oh, it's so freaking beautiful. I have absolutely no doubt that it's going to make me cry. Hopefully not like a baby, but I do tend to do that he sometimes. working another late night, and my friends were over, saying how bored they were, and how they had come all the way out to my house for nothing. One of them mentioned how that old, ugly beyond belief truck was still in the garage, and how we should take it for a spin. I was only 15, so I kind of fought it for a while. The next thing I knew, we were careening around the mountain path, rocks spitting onto the sides of the cliff, while my dad's cringeworthy bluegrass blared out the speakers. Dangerous. I drove while my friends were in the back of that yellow and purple truck, throwing beer bottles and trash at anything remotely interesting. It felt like I was soaring in the air with borrowed wings. But all good things have endings. Yeah. A cop outside of Eagle River pulled us over after he saw us in a bottle rocket into someone's yard. What followed was a long night of talking to disappointed adults and feeling smaller than ever. Mm. There's always a problem of being a rebel. Even the smallest of actions have consequences. <laughs> Not sure what I did there. Uh, it's telling me to do something, but I'm really bad at following instructions. Okay, don't get hung up on this one little thing, me. Do not. Hey, there we go. Not sure what I did any differently, but there you go. It's not going to make me do that again, is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm, I think I missed a sparkle over there, maybe. I'm not sure. Can't quite tell. I just jumped off that. I did not mean to do that. I'm just so scared. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't know there was a sheer drop right there. Oops. Oops. That was silly. There wasn't anything else up there. Hey, that's a quite a sheer fate that I just skidded, skid down. Oops. now. Woo! Magical. Oh, it wanted me to go up top. I get you. I get you. Right. Get the camera angle right. That was not right. Not at all. Oh my gosh, me. Me, come on, me. Thank you. 
Oh, I'm gonna waste it again, okay. Let's try this. It wants me to get up there. And it lagged. I can't see. I don't know what's going on, but my controller is going nuts. Huh. Okay. I didn't even need to do that. I could literally just get up it this way. That was silly. I suppose it was just an example of what sort of thing you could do. That mechanic. I didn't need to do that. Very good at doing things I don't need to do. Ooh. Luckily, no fall damage. This is pretty. If you want to find the nearest waterfall and take a natural shower. the truck. Nailed it. I just realized I'm a big old dumb dumb. I didn't change. It's still on just chatting, isn't it? Yep, I'm a big old dumb doofy do. I'm uh, gonna have to do a lurk there. I'll speak to you soon. Hopefully, enjoy the game. Thank you, thank you, thank you, pops, for the for the lurk and for the follow and for chatting for a bit. It was nice seeing you. Have a nice lurk. Right, I've updated that, so I'm actually on first tree now. And back to the game. Yes. Thank you, yes, enjoy your lurk. Right. I feel like that wants me to go somewhere. Barbershop. Ah, I know what I need that for. No jumping until I get over there, me. Mm. 
Well, I picked a hell of a time to get hungry, but that's okay. Oof, that was a steep jump. take my love of drawing and turn it into a way of escape, nothing would make me happier. I wanted to create instead of tearing trees down. I wanted to move to the lower 48, not because I hated it there in Alaska, but I hated the idea of it. It's like all of that spite inside me had created this monster which followed me around my whole teenage years. I put so much energy into doing what others didn't expect of me. Why did I do that? There's one fact you're forgetting, though. If you didn't have that fire in you, we probably would have never met. You're absolutely right. Maybe the destination is all that matters in the end. I believe then that. Then why am I awake? Why am I seeing this fox go on her journey? And why can't I stop thinking about my dad? I have a feeling we're gonna find out. I love this color of green, this sort of yellowy, yellowy autumn shade. It's one of my favorite colors. We did. We did the thing. Summer, I imagine. What's next? Sorry, I keep knocking my microphone and trying to put on my glasses. I like this shade of green too. I do love green. It's one of my favorite colors, but my main favorite is yellow. Yellow is such a good color. God, I didn't even say gosh darn it because of the lag, I said, because this place is so freaking beautiful. Now I am tossing because of the lag. Bad. Definitely need a new, new PC. But that's okay. Even at my most distant, at the times when I detested him the most, he kept reaching out. For a year straight, he asked me every week when we were going camping. I thought he was just dense. Eventually, to shut him up, I agreed. We carried out the worn lawn chairs from the garage and set up a cinder block campfire at the site we'd always used behind the house. We walked I can't down go the this mountain way. path talking in the warm sunshine we only got a couple months of the year. Those three obsidian rocks shimmered alongside the shore, almost like sparklers pressed against a dark window. I'll never forget that wet stone on my feet, or how those massive mountains looked even bigger in the lake's reflection. I felt small, but grateful. As the sun set, my dad found something I hadn't seen for a long time. The tree where I'd made my first carving when I was six. First tree. I hadn't even carved it. My dad had helped me, but I still called it my tree. Something about seeing my name there made me open up, and we talked about everything that night in that old camouflage tent. I told him how much I loved sketching and design, and how it would be a dream to study architecture in Seattle. I told him how I didn't get along with my friends much anymore but that I didn't mind being alone. He told me he was there for me, and he joked that if all he had to do was write my name on a tree to finally get me to talk, he would have left me carved logs with novels on them in front of my room every morning. <laughs> I don't know why it took me that long to realize it, but it was then I knew how much he had sacrificed for me. 
Yeah. It's often that we don't understand our parents until after we've grown up. Especially when we're teenagers. Just like how we feel like nobody understands us during those years either. Jeez. Don't think I would give anything. Or want anything. To have the opportunity to relive my teenage years. Even if it meant this time I have to get things quote unquote right. On if property, they didn't go the way they did, it wouldn't be who I am now. Shed and car long left unused. I used to ask him all the time who those people were that left all this junk. And I'm sure he got so tired of hearing it that he made up some elaborate stories how a brown bear ate them and haunted the woods afterwards. What's funny is I think it made those people seem more real. Growing up thinking they were still hanging out like they couldn't say goodbye. I used to tell my friends how I could swear I saw spirits move near the water, and that always freaked them out. I guess it didn't bother me, because the way I saw it, they were normal people with old cars and sheds, just trying to figure out how to survive and be happy in the middle of nowhere. It was a cool thought that they didn't want to leave, but you know, I was a weird kid. Well... You had good company since those ghosts like living in a place where they were brutally devoured. <laughs> what is this? That's meant to be a tent. It's a bit low. I'm trying to figure is that hail here or there? It's not even hail, it's just really heavy rain and it's right where I am. Nice. I love me some good heavy rain. Gotta get up there somehow. Is this where I can get up? Yep. So this is the way I should be going. But I want to get up to that tree first. Whew. That damn pretty soundtrack. Hey, where are you going? What is happening? Wait a minute, I'm meant to be doing something. I'm gonna have to break immersion again and check the controls. like it. Uh, I can't check the controls. It's some kind of collectible but I'm not sure it's entirely pertinent to the game. I feel like it's also really important. Um, do I just sit here? I have no idea what I did, but I kind of figured it out. Kind of. I'm just gonna go with I figured it out. Oh, okay. Yep, we'll take it. We'll take that leap. And a flying fox. Well, that's a completely different animal, but whatever. Fall. 
architectural blueprints. No, I realised I was getting really tense there on the controller. I had to read up for a second. I do manage to make even the most chill, relaxed things quite stressful, so I just need to sometimes take a minute and just be like, calm down, me. Calm down. Like something I, I'm really terrible at is when I'm writing, I hold my pen way too tight that my entire hand clenches. I don't even notice I'm doing it until my hand starts to hurt. Sun. There is a beam of light over there, but I think that's where I just left. So I'm gonna go check out the one that's in this direction. My nose itches. Luckily, there's no webcam, so you can't see me picking my nose. But the fact that I just told you that I was doing it completely refutes the fact that I have no webcam, and I apologize for that mental image. No, that looks like it's gonna be quite a track. Ooh, eyes. Do a little wander round. Excuse me. Okay, so it looks like. There's a lot going on here. This looks like a very spooky place, and I think that's where I've got to eventually go, maybe? I don't like it when there's two different paths, but I don't know which is the way forward, and I don't want to pick the wrong one by accident, the wrong one being the way forward, because I want to have time to explore the other one. Oh my gosh, the bird song. So pretty. That's a match sketch. I think, think that's what those things are called. underneath the evergreens we decided it was time to finally map out the hundreds of acres we lived on just to pass the time during the summer he was only free in the evenings so I would spend the day wasting time on dial-up internet and sketching and then we would rush into the woods pen and map in hand uh, before evening wisely. fell sometimes the aurora borealis would cast a cold green glow on the mountainside Beautiful. And we would finish our route underneath a twilight sky. Sometimes I was lonely during those summer days, but there was comfort in the routine. A lot of teenagers aren't looking for the daily grind, though. Mm. There's nothing wrong with wanting to get out, to leave your childhood home. This was a dead end. You wanted to progress, to make something of yourself. Yeah, you're right. That house. I'm sure it's the same as how I left it. Then why does it feel so different? I doubt you're the only adult to have looked back and asked that question. Yeah. Darn, darn. 
darn, 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 darn. I almost certainly aren't getting all of them. But I want to get the ones that I can actually see. There we go. Look back this way. I find the uh, camera control a little awkward, but it's only because I'm still not very used to using a controller. add this soundtrack to my background music repertoire playlist thing and what's it because it's just so freaking beautiful. Fifty stars. I think that's just back out yeah. Oh so that was a big old circle. That's good to know. Wait, isn't this the way? I'm actually generally confused now. I don't think it is. This is the way. I... My depth perception is awful. get hopelessly and utterly lost. Possibly. Oh! There we go. You gotta sink it. That's what it is. You just gotta sink it. going. Okay, not that way. I'm gonna get up so I can see. Up there. No. That's where I fell down last time. I'm very good at getting lost in games. So 
that's not the way. Okay, eyes. My eyes starting to hurt because I'm confused and I don't know where I'm going. I'm just retracing my steps in my head because there was no other way to go. was the stone. I don't want to leave this game. I don't want to leave it unfinished. I'm probably making it more complicated than it actually is. I'm pretty good at that. Yeah, I can't get up there. I don't know I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I am um... I could be a complete and total. A complete and total loss. be really annoying is if it turns out that this is actually like really close to the end of the game and I'm just not getting it. Kinda of wanna turn it into two parts but I have a feeling that I start it next stream and somebody's like oh hey it's this way and then I'll get it and they'll be like oh wow so last that game's over now yeah that doesn't seem like the right way
I'm glad I did this first and can't sneak le neatly organised because I can't imagine that would be too stressful. <laughs> I knew, I knew it. I knew I'd find some way to make this stressful. I always do that. I, I just, I can't make it. I am actually going to have to stop because I am ex so confused. Already been here. Already got that. Wait a minute. I could have got up here that way this entire time. I've been platforming. feel like my dyslexia is now mutating into shapes like all the shapes are just getting really confused in my in my brain okay so i'm assuming that's the goal big assumption no real idea Yeah, that's too high. I, I don't know I don't know what I'm doing, so I am actually gonna have to stop. I can continue it next time, but for now it's getting a bit too stressful and uh, it's kind of annoying. I hate getting lost in games. I always feel so trapped. I think trapped is the word because I feel like I should know what this is. I should know how to do this. But no my when I stop being able to recognise shapes, then no, that's a good time to call it. So I'm gonna Exit this for now. It's a lovely game and I would like to actually finish it. But not today. And then I'm gonna... Yes, I would like to quit. Thank you. I'm gonna switch over to here. I'm gonna find some music to put on. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. A little bit of a break. Get another cup that hasn't gone cold. And probably get a little snack or something to eat. Shouldn't be more than five, ten minutes. Probably not even ten minutes. I'm already good, really good at uh, overestimating how much time it'll take me to do literally anything. It's not what I clicked on. Gosh darn YouTube! It's got to find a better way of sorting out its uh, playlists. That's not what I clicked on either. Right. Great. Okay. I actually, I don't know if this will copyright strike me or not, but I will see you shortly. See you in a bit.
that was me. I, cu I cut it short because I'm I'm back and I'm just changing up the category and such. So we're gonna play a little bit of cats organized neatly because it's meant to be like super chill. Nowhere to get lost. You're just organizing cats in a. I don't even know what. We're organizing cats. It's gonna be great. That is if my category is even recognized, and that's kind of funny because it's a cat. A gory. That's not funny at all. Okay. Oh, this is sure it's taking its time. Cats. Do you compute OBS? Cats. Cat. How many times is it going to get me to say cat? Cat. Oh, come on. Uh, it's going to click done and then. Cats. Oh my gosh, it just does not want to find cats. Cats neatly organized. I'm pretty sure it's spelled with a Z as well. Blah, blah. Come on. You know what? Cats. It's, it doesn't want to do it. It just does not want to do it. Ugh, I don't want to fuck with my webcam. Oh, whatever. Games. Oh, it's not loading any category. category so I can't even. Doesn't matter. We'll just leave it like that. With doing something or other, um, we're going to be playing with cats. Can't think of anything better to do with my life right now than just talk about with cats and switch to game because I'm just out of it. My head's actually hurting a little bit, which is annoying. Uh, this one? I don't know. It's windowed, which is kind of annoying. Oh, now it's no longer windowed, and there are cats, and that is great, because cats are friggin' great. Oh yes, dark mode. Now it's easier on my eyes. I like how it's not, like, terribly dark, it's just... Uh, yeah, sure. Let's organize some cats. Uh, okay. Uh, oh look, you found a new cat. It's Keto. Keto is a tricky one. He's massive sleeping while sitting. One can never tell if he's asleep or watching his surroundings. That's pretty impressive. Meow. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love the meowing. This is great. I accidentally pressed the undo button because I'm a big old dingus. Ooh. Nice. Oh, look, you found a new cat. It's Floof. Most cats don't like water. Floof is not like most cats. After a bath, her fur goes poof. Oh yes, very nice. This is the best thing ever. New cat, Lint. She's a little goofball that is full of energy. Sometimes she rolls instead of walks. This is a lot of cats. Hmm. I live for the meow noises. Oh, look at the They're so cute. Let's try and do something different. No, that doesn't really work, does it? Hmm. No, it doesn't. Oh, the purring is just so nice. Tell her, tell me. A chubby little <laughs> fellow. Mostly not the smartest one. But definitely the most friendly cat around. He looks lovely. Look at this big old chubby do. Oops. Nice. Oh look! Wolf! He likes to sit close to the garden door. Given his posture, a passerby might think he's guarding something. He is a dog cat. A cat dog? No. You must be that, uh, thus. Wait, hold on. Interesting. How dost thou fit? How dost thou fit? I am much confusion. Hmm. No, that doesn't work. How do you do anything? Aha! I see. Magical. Rough. 
He's small and quirky, a bit too quirky for the others, but eventually he'll grow out of it. Will he though? Will he really? I like making patterns out of cats. I have literally nothing better to do with my life. And obviously this isn't gonna work. Yay, I do a barrel roll. <laughs> That's the achievement I just got. That's awesome. I feel like this is a bloof. A bloof? A, a bluff. A floofy bluff. No, this is wrong. Doesn't arrange terribly neatly. But neatly enough. Pouchy. If it fits, if it fits, pouchy sits. The more square, the better. Nice. This is a blank. Wait. Wait a minute. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. This is the easiest one yet. Catchievement. That's a new one. Big bloof. Nice. Pickles! Once a very shy kitten, he is now rocking the neighborhood with his playfulness. Sweet. He's also extremely inconveniently shaped. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. Hehe. <laughs> Woohoo! Just to shake it up a little bit. Et voila! It's getting bigger! I could get used to all this, these cat noises, I, I really could. Interesting, one might say. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Very nice. This requires literally no brain power. Venus, a pretty cat with a pretty big YouTube channel. <laughs> Almost all videos are of her trying to go on cat costumes. Seems legit. She's freaking huge! Wait a minute, is this a Meg Turney joke? Meg. 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 With the heart. Meg? Meg Turney, the cosplayer who has a heart for a, lo a pixel heart for a logo. <laughs> Did she play this game? Interesting. She's also too big. Meg, you're too big. I can't. No, don't, don't, don't say anything. He is a rather awkward cat. His favourite way to pass time is watching the bird channel on TV. Sounds nice, actually. Hmm. <laughs> Very nice. Wincy. Quincy? Favourite thing to do is to drop himself on his human's keyboard, accidentally making whole video games in the process. Genius. This is like the nicest game in the world. Biggin.
trying to push you there. Danke schon. Aha, that's the one I was looking for. Hmm. Hmm. Aha. Uh, no, that doesn't work either. Indeed. Not. Uh -huh. mm. Hmm. No, not. This is when my brain fails to work. Brain fails to work. No. No. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Still no. Hmm. This one's a real brain teaser. No. Still no. The big... <laughs> Still no. What in good heavens? No. Oh, I suck at all manner of puzzle games, it would appear. It's you who should be there. I'm sort of getting it. No. No. Sometimes I get it, and then other times it's just gone, old bean. Something about this arrangement, so maybe I should, like, swap it around? Well, that's not right. No. Oh, I shouldn't be so bad at this. Okay, brain hole. Why don't you work for a change, eh?
no. 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 Why not go to No. Oh, no. Why must you be such a tall cat? Still no. Hmm. Hmm. I'm agonizing over this. No. No, I, I don't. I still don't got it. <laughs> still no. This rate. At this point, I'll just learn literally anything. Um, this thing I don't fit. No. Nope. No, he does not fit. You're right. Don't know what difference that made, <laughs> if any. <sighs> Don't know what that did. Well, we just reset the pieces, but they weren't even on the board, so. No. I feel like sometimes I think I've got it and then it's just like, nope. OM oh, goodness. There we go. Easy as punch. Oh, baguette. <laughs> just we baguette. Oh, okay, enough of that. He once had a noodle stuck up his snout. How that works, you ask? You have no clue. Oh, he certainly looks pleased with himself. Okay. Quite a handsome boy. Wow, 
Well, that doesn't seem right. Okay. Mm. Actually, I'd like that. That seems good. It seems much like what I was doing before. Yep. <laughs> Excuse me. OM goodness. I'm going to say that now every time I complete a puzzle. Nice. <laughs> oh dear. Use a big cat. Big honking backside. That doesn't seem right. Et voila. Sebi. Did you know that Sebi can meow in ten different cat languages? Insane, right? Yeah. Well, that was actually really easy. Music to my ears, because after cleaning herself, she sometimes forgets to put her tongue back in. That's adorable. Ooh, there's another one of you. Doesn't cool. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. Oh, look, you found a new cat. It's Squeal. Squeal doesn't socialize much with other cats. She likes to stay inside and not get a pause, though. I think she also probably likes to squeal. Oh, look at this top master. Well, that doesn't work. Magic. Carl's loves to roll around in the dirt and then come inside to annoy her human and her sister squeals. I thought that might be it. <laughs> Interessante. Hosea? Josu? Josho? Hosea. Is that really Hosea? Lucky you, he's a rare sight because he likes to hide away and sleep. Sounds like me. Like that is a double bluff or whatever the heck you call it. There's another one. No, that's not right. <laughs> oh, look at the little one. No. Oh, that's not right. Get you out of there. There we go. Nice and schnookity. Oh my gosh, there's so many cats. Hmm. 
my mouse is too sensitive. There. Hmm. There we go. Right, I'm gonna check OBS again and see if it'll let me pick cats. Organized. No, it's just giving me the buffering symbol and I don't know why. That's really annoying. Okay, back to the game. Maria, for Maria there is nothing better than relaxing on the windowsill getting warmed by the sun. That does sound nice. Meg? This will always be Meg. Oh my gosh, I wish it would let me flip it on the actual board. That's really annoying. That's also really annoying. So there are no uh, oblong cats, as it were. Interesting. Where can you even go? Where would you even fit? I am much confusion. The heck? That still doesn't make any sense. No sense is being made. make no sense either. The sense must be made. Nope, that makes sense not still. Great. Sense still not still made. Where do you go, big big girl? Where do you where do you where do you go? You you're so big. Confusing ones. Yeah. 
Hmm. Nope, because then she won't fit. Stop meowing at me, you condescender. No. No, 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 no. It simply does not work. like hell. Okay. No. 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 Still no. So then where did you go, you big, big cat? No. No. It's just this big one's fault. It's just too big. <laughs> nope. Maybe. Can you go? You are the odd one out. I keep thinking it's her, but it's it's, it's you. Okay. And you. It's both of you. You both suck, and I hate you.
Okay, so there are only... Four places you could go. And no matter where you go, there's always this. Or something this shape. get there eventually okay big old one it's these curvy ones that give me the grief let me tell you uh okay rethink you need the big one So, you guys don't fit together, that's just a thing. Okay, go away. Well, that's not quite right. No, 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 there are no long, tall ones. Nope, that wouldn't work either. Thank you, thank you. Hey. The big old sleeper. Oh, I wish I could go to sleep. Which I will be actually doing soon, so. I like this one. Sleepy. Hmm. 
That doesn't work. I just love listening to that rain above me right now, that's so nice. There's a lot wrong with this picture. Uh, reset. <laughs> Reset that one. We really should. It's still this. It's not be that long. You a corner cat. Right round kitty, right round. <laughs> Another achievement. I'm getting a lot of achievements for not a lot of progress and I accidentally clicked the reset button. Genius, 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 genius. I'm getting every corner but the one I'm I mean it's this corner which of course doesn't compute with this cat at least I don't think it does no it doesn't ha huh. This guy's gotta go in somewhere.
Hmm. That works. That doesn't really. I'm losing it a little bit, but I'll be stopping shortly because it's almost 9 p.m. and my arms really hurt from moving furniture around. Yay. Interesting. Muy interesante. So bloody close to you. Dieter von Cheese. She loves to eat, but somehow never gains any weight. Nice. I hate these ones. These ones annoy the hell out of me. By interesting, I mean incorrect. Okay. would be nice but it's not oh my gosh my arms hurt so much probably a pattern to this that I am really not getting, but that's okay.
I haven't had any of the long three square ones yet for a while. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> well, they're so cute. <laughs> Little ones. I have no idea what I'm doing, I'm just mucking about. I think that's it for now. Um, it's nine o'clock and <laughs> go back to menu. We can do this another time. And the meow new. I hate it, but I love it. That was nice. That was really nice. That was a cute game. That was super cute. Wow, my lamp does not look good. My lamp does not look good. In the background there, it looks terrible. You can see that there is a lamp indeed there, but that's okay. Head over, over to the stream manager and I will switch over to this because we're gonna be ending soon because I'm fucking tired. Yeah, thank you everybody who dropped in. Thank you, Aiden and Pops. Thank you, Pops, for the follow. There goes my alarm telling me it's nine o'clock. Yes, thank you. I am aware. I am aware. I'm not gonna put some music on because my internet is, uh, my internet connection on my laptop are unhappy enough as it is. So we'll just. Heading over to stream manager and see if there are some beautiful people to raid and BTTV doesn't work for me in this regard. <laughs> Does not organize. Excuse me. Does, or Does not organize the raid list in a useful manner, but that's okay. Okay, so next time I'll be streaming will be on the heck day is it today wednesday yeah next monday i'll be streaming next monday probably be dropping back into hades we haven't played that since the last time i streamed and i would like to play that again it would be nice and i'm pretty sure that my uh xcom xcom xbox game pass thing did renew so i should still have it and i should be able to just pick up where i left off okay so stitch is still playing golf club wasteland which is a kind of a chill new game where you're just playing golf in a wasteland but I think the story is kind of intense that's what I gather anyway but yeah Stitch is a really cool dude if you don't know him please join the raid and we'll check him out lovely dude he said he was just doing a short one but his short means that he's uh, been going at least three hours which is an hour longer than I've been going <laughs> so kudos to him for having better endurance hell yeah Okay, so I will see you guys next Monday. I'll be playing Hades. Same time, same place. I'll see you then, and thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for coming back to my first stream since my hiatus. And I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I screwed that up, but that's because I'm an idiot. <laughs>